everybody, how are you? Castor oil. No, everybody's talking about castor oil. Ah, I just heard somebody say that castor oil is, is kind of like nature's Botox. Look at that with the, oh, without invasive procedures. Isn't that fabulous? But before I go in and tell you about what I'm doing with it, and I have experience, right? 49 years of experience. We'll get to that little one if you didn't watch the other video. Okay, Cleopatra. If you read anything about history or Cleopatra, they talk about how she used the castor oil bean for her beauty. Also, back in the late 60s, I'm trying to think of when I got a hold of this book. I'm thinking I probably read about it in the early 70s. And those were the, the, the books and the writings of Dr. Edgar Cayce, who's actually known as the father of uh, naturopathic medicine. And he actually wrote a whole book about castor oil. I don't know if you've ever read it. I mean, I'm just going, it was really, like we read about it a lot back in the 60s and the 70s. I'm going to link that book down below. They do have it on Amazon if you want to read it. So that was kind of interesting. And then there was one other thing before I share this with you. This I wanted to kind of, I had to research this because in my other video, I talk about the plastic and the glass and the plastic and the glass. And then one of the viewers said, well, I don't know why we worry about it because it's shipped in plastic. And then actually, I, I wanted to look into it a little further. So I went to lo logistics and importing and exporting and, you know, are there rules and regulations? And actually there are, there are some, pr actually there's some pretty definite protocols in place about shipping any kind of vegetable oil and castor oil is considered a vegetable oil. You can cook with it too, right? And they actually are transported or exported in, it said either steel tanks, or stainless steel tanks. Now, whether they can get lined with something or not, whether they can change or alter that, they didn't say, they were pretty specific about steel. So I'm gonna actually, where I found that information, I'm gonna link that down below as well, because I had a bit of a bee in my bonnet about the plastic and the glass. I think I'm going back to the glass. Okay, um, so, 1975, April 1975, I'm overdue. Doctor says, lady, go home and take two tablespoons of castor oil and let's see if we can get this baby rocking and rolling. Just, okay, didn't happen. She did not come. Nope, nope, nope. Anyway, so it didn't work. But um, I don't know. Like, I know my girls were, I've got two daughters and uh, we talk about stretch marks, right? Like, I was 110 pounds when I got pregnant. And I ended up being 190 pounds. There was a lot of skin stretching in a lot of different directions. And you know what? To this day, I don't have a stretch mark. Now, if I had a, I'm not going to put a bathing suit on. I don't have stretch marks. I used to have a little bit on my breast, but they're gone. We used to use one of two things. So I'm going to tell you both. Sometimes I would break a capsule, a vitamin E capsule and I would rub that all over my tummy. Or I would just use the castor oil, because um, if I could take it internally, I could, that was my analogy of it, and certainly I can rub it on my tummy. It is awesome. Now, if you, already, if, the, if you really are scarred, I don't know if it would help, but it certainly would be worthwhile, because I came out of that three pregnancies, I don't have a stretch mark, and I really think it's because I just kept putting on castor oil and vitamin E capsules. Okay, so I don't think it's a secret. I just think maybe we haven't talked about it. So there it is for you, especially you expecting moms that are going, oh, I don't want all you. I don't want to look like Grand Central Station. Um, you know, it's okay. It's part of the course. I mean, we have beautiful babies, but uh, I, why, why have the stretch marks if you don't have to? And then the other thing that... Um, I talked to you about, I did put, been putting it on my eyebrows for a long time, but I put it all over my, all over my arms, all over my legs. I do it all the time. And that is why I think I don't have really any crepey skin. Although I'm seeing a little bit more of it now because I'm intermittent fasting and I'm losing the weight and I am seeing like, like, I, maybe it's not crepey, but it's just like little, like wrinkly skin, right? And I need to keep building more muscle because the more muscle I build, the more it's going to adhere, my skin's going to adhere to the muscle. And then that takes away some of that crepiness. But it has, over the years, moisturizing myself. A shower, I put 
castor oil on. I know some of you might not like this too sticky, but you know what? Oh my gosh, what a difference. It it really, really, it, it does more than moisturizes your skin. It really, oh, it's, I can't tell you how good it feels. I mean, I can't believe it for my age. Oh, for my age, yes, almost 74. I can't believe that I don't have that kind of like really, really heavy duty crepey skin. So I'm very fortunate. Then the other thing that I didn't share, and I think it's something that is comes with age sometimes. It can be nerve damage. And that is, I have neuropathy. I don't like to talk about it because, you know, I just go, the more you think about it, the more you think you got it or it affects you. But I do want to share it because if you have rheumatoid arthritis or if you have neuropathy like I have, run it by your doctor or professional. But I started making probably about the last two years and I can't remember where I read about it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do it because I have a cayenne tea, turmeric, honey, ginger, lemon tea every day. But I thought, oh, and a cayenne pepper doesn't burn. It's warm, but it doesn't burn you. I would put it on my feet. Oh, my gosh. What a difference that made. And if you have neuropathy, you know how full, how cold your feet can get. And they get so sore. Like, it's not a nice thing to have. And I can't believe the difference that the three i did three weeks i did it for three weeks in a row now i do it like once a week i just put um if i tell you what i use i use a pad that's what i use just a really thin pad and i put the castor oil on and i put the um, cayenne pepper on and then I have a pair of really nice thin socks that stay tight and I put the socks over top. I don't want to put, I don't wrap my feet in plastic or anything like that. I don't want plastic, especially I've got castor oil on there as well. So, but oh my gosh, what a difference it has made. So it's something you might want to check with your doctor. If your doctor says, okay, you might say, well, if you can handle it, go ahead. I don't think, you know, yes, it has made a huge difference for me personally. I wouldn't do it without running it by my doctor as I have. Okay, so my face, no, I was not big time into using it on my face. You guys know, for those of you who watch my channel, I use that absolutely incredible device on my face, the Lumo, which I absolutely love. But I didn't realize that putting castor oil on my face after I had cleaned my face, exfoliated my face, put on my moisturizer that when I put my castor oil on over top, it just seals the deal that it all holds it in. So I'm going to hopefully, you know, maybe in a month or two, uh, now that I'm doing it on, putting it on my face every single night, I'll be able to share that with you. I'm not going to do it right now. I haven't been doing it long enough. So there you go. But oh my gosh, girls, for your skin, for your arms, for your legs, and don't, you know, like, don't wait till we, I've, I've had it for 49 years and I must admit, I mean, I wasn't like really attentive about it. It's just if I needed something or grab, if I didn't have a tube of something, I'd grab the castor oil. Castor oil is far more effective and it's like, I'm not paying a fortune for it. There's no perfumes in it. It is organic. It is pure. So why wouldn't we go with that? So I just wanted to get that out there to you guys. And thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy hanging out with me, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. And remember, there is no future in our past. Thanks for being here, you guys, and hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. See you later. Bye.